Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of Stellaris Leviathans. When we last left off, we were building up our Imperial Navy here. We were slowly working our way towards colonizing down in this arm of the galaxy, which is going to take a while, mostly due to the fact that, well, quite frankly, uh, it's just very, very expensive. I mean, everything will get a bit cheaper once we take this. Plus, this is a reasonable a reasonable spot, because if we can expand to cover all these hyperlanes, no one can expand closer in our direction, which is good. I mean, unless they kind of hop through me, but I'd have to close my borders to prevent stuff like that from happening. But anyway, yeah, influence is very, very expensive. Kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. All right, another X planet. Interesting. And we're also, again, uh, slowly working towards taking these fellows out here because we don't want the... Oh, they actually have a spaceport here. Damn it. Maybe I should have declared war earlier just to stop them from building a space... Oh, you know what else? Now that I think about it, I might as well be building up our first invasion force. Let's see here. 1.73 to 3.46. This robot army is actually more expensive and and it has more health, less morale, it also does less damage. So our assault army it is. All right, we'll just Now, the one problem I have is they've they've changed things here so that once the planet like once you've built more more armies than the planet can actually hold, they just fly into space. I, I kind of wish there was at least a thing where it'd be like, hey, hey, if you build any more, they're going to go into space. You know, sort of like how in EU4, it'll tell you if you're going to go over your force limit. I think, you know, I don't even know how many we can fit on that planet. I'll just build them. And if anyone shows up in space, I'll just say, oh, new contact. Oh, we met the Blorg again. Yay. Space friends. Where are the Blorg? They're way the hell over there. Greetings, I speak for Executive Xavier Kruger, not Ashley Easterbrook. Wonder what happened to, to her. And the wealthy elite of the Blurred commonality. We are always looking for new trading partners among the many diverse and delightful alien nations we encounter as our ships explore the galaxy. And as you can see, they're fanatical befrienders, so of course we're going to want to be friends with them as soon as possible. We wish for nothing but to be friends, which probably has them, their, uh... I don't know, their, their sacks of joy, just, you know, oozing stuff. As you can see, they immediately love us. Is it possible to just immediately form an alliance? No? Oh, right, they got rid of alliances. It's just independences, or just federations now. And I haven't researched the tech to form a federation. Incoming oh. Transmission. What's this? Sure, I'll agree to a non-aggression pact. That sounds fun. Probably not a defensive pact, though, because I, I need the, you know, the stuff. And migration treaty? Oh, let's see here. Uh, they have no suitable planets for us. What are you kidding? Or what? You know what? It, it actually just occurred to me. Due to the fact that um, there seems to be a glitch where all our planets show as being like zero habitability, even even our continental worlds, I wonder if that is going to result in me never being able to form uh, migration treaties, which sucks. All right, it's going to only take another month. We'll wait for that to take over. There we go. Now we can colonize this beautiful planet. We'll stick it right in here. Add a ver Advertier Prime, why not? Uh, let's see here. We've got the fusion reactor, which is very important. Uh, point defense. Actually, hang on a second. Let's... Hang on, you. Uh, let's spy on these guys and see if they are building missile-related weapons. Because if they are, all I need to do... No, they're using lasers. Only level 2 lasers, whereas we have level 3 railguns. Oh, good. More influence. Uh, the Living State. That's pretty cool. Clone Army, which unlocks... I guess... I assume this leads more... 
biological path. Hmm. I would like the whole form federation thing first, though, I think. Oh, and there we go. We immediately get even better uh, stuff. I mean, getting these shield damaging weapons would be really good, but I think we want more, more energy, first of all. That would probably be for the best. And in the meanwhile, let's, uh, let's upgrade all of our energy weapons here. Uh, we still have only level 1 deflectors. Actually, I guess because of this, we can probably afford to do this and that. And we don't have the afterburners unlocked yet, but once we do, we can stick them in. Uh, we also have this. Alright. So, now our ships are, again, better. Oh, even better. All right, we've got some good stuff going here. No advanced combat rules yet. All right, I'm gonna have to get rid of one of these for another fusion reactor, most likely. Uh, we've got all of this. You know what, I might as well switch one of these to be a disruptor. Let's see, this uses 7.5, this uses also 7.5. All right, so yeah, it gives us just a little bit more shield penetration, which is good. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of shield penetration? All right, that's also good, but it's going to be even better once I upgrade like this. Maybe do some of... Nope, that's not a good idea. All right, so you can do that. You can do this. All right, so far so good. All right, our ships are pretty much set. Let's actually, again, spy on these guys. See what they've got. Uh, they actually have no shields at all. Oh. That's unfortunate. I'm, I mean, I'm building up ships that are meant to take out shields, and they have no shields. Oh, dang, gummit. Uh, okay then. Oh, look at these tiny little borders. Little baby-sized borders. So it's gonna take nine months, which is also the time it takes to gestate a human child. That was a really weird way of saying that, wasn't it? Very, very weird way indeed. Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, we have surveyed the Fallen Empire's borders in a most, most furrow fashion, which is good. So we'll kind of go on in here like this. And I guess we'll just sort of do a little circle around here, just to finish clearing all this up, and, you know, kind of continue moving on. It'd be hilarious if we found a xenophobic empire, like, right over here or something. System survey complete. And it's going to take a hundred thousand years before we get enough influence to colonize anything else. Then again, I guess that depends on how fast the borders of this planet end up growing out. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things end up working, I guess. Because, of course, we are going to want to colonize in this direction as well. I wonder, if we colonize this tropical world, would that suddenly allow us to get things with, you know, get things moving with the Blorg? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's continue looking to see if we have anything to upgrade. Uh, so far, no. Uh, we are building things. And in fact... Oh, I'm not even building things, actually. Uh, science lab... No! Oh god, no! No! Wasn't even paying attention to what I was looking at. Apparently. Typical, really. Uh, more power, more power. And more power is always good, I guess. Then again, now that I think about it, do I really need... Well, actually, the answer is going to be yes. I am actually probably going to need all this power. I mean, I have a vast surplus now, but there's no there's no guarantee it'll remain a surplus once we actually have everything built up. You know? And that's an important thing to consider. Uh, more bio labs. Uh... Physics lab, so we don't completely go just in one direction with this stuff. Uh, you can be a never bio lab, because again, we're... Then again, why am I worrying about that? Once we get some uh, observation posts built, it's, it's all gonna work out. In fact, Mr. Construction Ship, if you don't mind, you can build an observation post there and a research station there. And then you can just kind of sit over here for the time being. All right. Life has been pretty good to us thus far. And hopefully it'll continue to be pretty good. That, that's my hope, anyway. Is that life will be... 
will be kind and gentle to us and allow us to continue building our great and holy empire in a fashion that serves the interests of the Gaslight people for generations to come and also results in the general success and potential formation of a federation at some point. Let's see, how happy are you? You're not that happy, are you? You're probably not very happy. But you'll be happy eventually. Let's see here. What is your happiness? It's actually 50. Uh, massive levels of FX divergence. So we are going to want to build up our uh, people as quickly as possible. Let's also go ahead and get a governor in there. We actually have the maximum number of governors possible. So... Um... Hmm... Hmm. Uh, alright. You are on Gaslight Prime, you can move over here. That'll be good enough. Alright, so build up a whole bunch of synthetics. Build all the synthetics, really. Uh, clear that, and then start building all the science labs. Science labs probably want to be our first priority if I were to guess. Science lab, uh, build that later, build a science lab here. And, a, and an android to populate it, of course. And I guess clear some of these tiles as well. And then I won't queue up anything else because we, of course, are going to want to get our capital going. And all of that good stuff. Alright, so overall... Oh, oh, also, I guess before I forget, it would probably be a really good idea to get a spaceport going ASAP, because one, it allows us to have protection, and two, it's just generally good practices, I would assume. Let's see here. Uh, oh, cool, there's actually another primitive species here that we can uplift eventually. That is awesome. All right. Now, it's, it's kind of silly, but I don't like building uh, these things on, uh, or stations on worlds that I may consider inhabiting in the future. I know, it's silly, but, oh well. That's a personal thing. And we're at four of five, so that's good. I really don't want to give things over to sectors if I can avoid, oh, also, this is almost within our territory, and we have, in fact, very definite... Okay, that's still in my space. Okay. And yeah, we very definitely blocked them off from expanding in that direction. Project complete. Oh, cool. Well, wait, living metal? Science officers returned from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere and the seas beneath the ice mantle of Upfaris 5. Several large species native to the lower regions of the global sea have been found to produce a unique enzyme with immense healing properties. If this enzyme is successfully harvested... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Successfully harvested in large enough quantities, it could revolutionize the field of medical science. That said something about adding living metal. Subterranean ocean. Like, I wasn't imagining it, was I? Like, I did say there was living metal there, right? Right? Tell me I'm not crazy, people. Tell me I'm not crazy! System survey complete. I'm sure it said it had living metal there. Oh well. Maybe I am crazy. But oh well. Such is life. System or maybe it... Complete. Maybe it wasn't that planet. No, it was that planet. It is here. Oop, forest. Complete. System survey complete. Hmm, with absolutely nothing I can colonize in this vicinity. We're gonna need a lot of texts that add more habitable worlds. It's actually mildly annoying now that I think about it that... There's just these, like, vast, empty pockets. But then again, it does kind of make frontier stations more useful, doesn't it? Though, with that in mind, since those frontier outposts are, I would argue, almost necessary now, it would be kind of nice if, um, they didn't cost so much to build. Or actually, I forget, do they? Now that I think about it, because I, I, I've almost never built... Frontier Outpost because of the influence maintenance cost. Do they still have that, or is do they, they? I mean, they must. They must still have an influence maintenance cost, right? 
Like, surely, surely they didn't get rid of that. It's just... Yeah. Construction complete. All right. Jack this thing all the way up to level four. In fact, upgrade everyone to level four. Because who doesn't love having a level four? All right. We're making good progress. At least I like to keep saying that. That we're making good progress. Better impulse thrusters. Better guns. Better afterburners. Or at least some afterburners. Which gives us more combat speed. Uh, I mean, that's good. Impulse thrusters gives us more evasion chance and sublight speed and combat speed. In fact, overall, uh, this is significantly better, but then again, it is also a lot more expensive. Hmm. Uh, also, why is... I'm pretty sure this is like the level 4 engine, and this is the level 4 weapon. Why is the level 4 engine so much faster or so much more expensive than the level 4 gun? Mysteries of the universe right there. Uh, I am really tempted to build this. Because it won't cost more power. It'll just give us more hull points. And more hit points is always good. I mean, even though that's nerfed into oblivion compared to how powerful this used to be. It's still pretty dang powerful, I'd say. Especially on bigger ships, I imagine. Hmm. Though it's not as good as the enigmatic stuff if we find another one of those enigmatic fortresses. You know what, I just want better guns. Better guns it is. Alright. Let's finish up scouting this particular sector of space and time. And then, once we have done that, I guess we can send you home. Yeah, in fact, we kind of have to send you home because there's no way we can get over here to get to this tree. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just send you home to help assist research once you're done. That makes enough sense to me. I guess. Maybe. Uh, but where do I want to colonize? I guess maybe this alpine world? Possibly. We'll have to kill the whatever is here. Hmm. Or here. Now that's only a level, or a size 10 world. I want to colonize only the biggest of worlds, at least for now. Because, in general, they just help more. Oh boy, we're going to be sitting at that cap for a long, long time, aren't we? Uh, more destroyers. And more corvettes. We're going to want a big swarm of corvettes, most likely, I think. They may be crazy, but complete. it probably will help us against the Dreadnought. Because the Dreadnought is a big ship, and big ships have big weapons, and big weapons have a hard time hitting small ships. Though I still need, I need to learn, like, what the whole new optimal strategy is for building, like, the fleet ratios and stuff in this particular version. I still haven't gotten around to learning that. All I know is that kinetic weapons are basically god. Plus plasma, I think. Kinetic and plasma, something to that effect. Why did I right-click that to say I didn't want it? And where did you migrate? Why is everyone, why are all the workers on this particular... Tile constantly migrating somewhere else. Like, really, you people. Where are you migrating to? Oh, everyone's going to Atvir Prime. I mean, good for them, I guess. We're gonna have five pops on the planet soon, which is also good. There we are, get that science rolling. Uh, also, get this science rolling, because I think science is more important. And, no, no, don't build anything else yet, because we are gonna... That capital is going to need to be built at some point in the near future. Right. We also need... Uh, we probably don't need to worry too much about this. Uh, we are going to want point defense at some point. Uh, maybe advanced combat rules, actually. That might be better for us. And better shields, better combat rules. Uh, you know what? No, let, no. Yes, yes. We'll go for better combat rules. I like that. Because it gives us more bonuses overall, I think. Solar Sailor. Never one of those. We have finished recruiting armies. Are any of them flying in space? No, they are all... Oh, wait, yes. No. None of them are floating in space. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is the capacity here, anyway? Now that I think about it. 
Is there anything that shows what the planet capacity is? No, I don't think there is. Well, maybe there, maybe there is. Maybe I'm just being silly. But it doesn't. No, it doesn't seem like it. That's kind of silly. I kind of wish there was something that said, "Hey, buddy, you, you know, if you keep building these armies, you're gonna go over your capacity." Or, you know, I, I kind of wish there was like maybe under planet fortifications said how many armies it can support on the planet before they'll start going into space. That would be kind of useful. Anyway, again, this is just me spitballing some ideas here. Uh, we could do some aggressive observation. Construction complete. Well, actually, we can't. We could enlighten them, which would make them a Oh, what the heck? I, I'm not even doing anything. Atmospheric manipulation. Uh, I mean, I oh, more biolabs. I kind of want to do this first, though. So I want to get some sweet terraforming going. System survey complete. Well, then again, from what I understand, terraforming takes a ridiculously long time. System Especially Gaia World complete. terraforming, which is apparently, it's meant more as a vanity product, or project than a, like, an actual, like, strategy thing. Which is slightly unfortunate, I guess. Didn't we also run into a bunch of tomb worlds somewhere? I feel like we might have. Oh yeah, there's a tomb world. So there, there must be some tomb worlds in this corner of the galaxy. Clearly... Oh, and there, there's a Gaia world. Cool. Too bad it's so far away from us. Anyways, the Juran centralized planets. Plus, it's also got a big old ruby swarm in it. Hello. I speak on behalf of the Juran centralized planets, and I come with a message for your depraved species. As long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Kofexia I, with reverence, there may yet be peace between our nations. You know, I, I, in my head, in my own ears right now, that sounds like a pretty sweet voice I gave these guys, but I bet when I listen back, it's actually going to sound really stupid. Enough for despotic empire. All right. Well, our warriors salute you then. Uh, wait, where, where, are, where are those guys? Oh, they're over here. You know what? You're on the other side of the planet. Why don't I rival you for no particular reason? And only 0.07. Well, I guess that makes sense, because they're all the way on the other side of the planet, and it, or on, uh, not the planet, the other side of the universe from us. And not the universe, but the galaxy. This is, this is but a small galaxy in a vast, vast universe. All right, let's upgrade our capital there. Also, let's pop you over here so that all our sciency labs are getting worked on. Then we'll build another sciency lab over here. And, I guess, clear this off as well. All right. Construction complete. Uh, stop Construction migrating. Complete. I mean, on the other hand, it's probably for the best you keep migrating. It, it saves us a lot of time and effort and stuff, I guess. It still makes me a little sad that you all want to leave, but, you know, you do what you got to do, man. More destroyers. All right. That's working out nicely, so I'm I'm happy with it. And we have a colony ship that we'll probably want to send out at some point in the not too distant future. Uh, I haven't decided yet where exactly I want to call it. I, could, I suppose I could put it here or here. There is a continental world here. Plus, there are some people living over there. Then again, it'd be completely disconnected from the rest of my uh, the rest of my uh, systems and such. So. Probably wouldn't be the best idea. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, you can be a physics lab. As I mean, weapons research is pretty good, usually. Uh, build another guy there. And then we'll continue upgrading things as we move along. Alright. So far, so good. I think once I get to five planets, I might... I might leave it at that for the time being. Maybe. Possibly. It's one of those things where it really depends on how I'm feeling, I guess. Actually, if I could find another, another uh, system that had multiple habitable planets in it, I'd probably pick that. And I'm actually thinking... I'm gonna, no, this is only a 13 world. Probably this 21 world. I mean, this world might be better because it would be more centrally located. 
I, this can have more pops on it, so I'd probably... Or I could pick this. I mean, it would put us right on the front lines against our rival here. So that, that could be good. I don't know. And since I hate sectors, I, I, I really want to try Systems growing things. Complete. Oh, cool. The Umbran Consciousness has guaranteed the independence of the Pax Mexicana. What's this? Oh, that's just that. All right. Hmm. I don't know. Complete. It's going to be interesting, all this development that's going on. And we are getting more power. That's always good. Uh, next episode, I'm probably going to want to fiddle around with our ships again. Probably. Well, then again. Well, yeah, next episode, that's probably going to happen. And at some point, we are going to fight these guys again. Actually, this is interesting. Since, since there are no habitable worlds for them anywhere... They're basically stuck. Well, not anywhere, anywhere, but, you know, there's no habitable worlds nearby. The Crossroads Nebula. That is a very terrible name for considering the fact that, I mean, technically, I guess there's kind of a crossroads. That would make a lot more sense if it was at, like, a junction point between where multiple arms in the spiral interconnected, you know? That would be a true... Or if it was... You know what would be really cool would be if it was in between the spiral. But then again... If there was a nebula between the spiral, then it wouldn't really be a proper spiral, would it? Ooh, an unidentified empire. Hello. Uh, this is all w level one, so I'm assuming this is a primitive world of Kriegax. Interesting. That's going to be interesting. But, for now, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.